What are some of the signs of poor adrenal uh, function, right? We are talking about having adrenal dysfunction. Some people call this adrenal fatigue. Essentially, your system gets really run down and you have a hard time completing all your everyday normal tasks or really feeling like you are at your healthiest. So I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on all the things, information, and events that I have coming out. Now, talking about this, I see this really, really often. In fact, I had a conversation with a gal today going over her Dutch report, which Dutch test tells us what your cortisol is doing throughout the day right here, as well as what your adrenal function is right here. Um, that's why I love looking at Dutch tests. It's done through urine. You can find out more below this video. We were talking about her adrenal function. And I said, listen, you are working so hard, working overtime, and yet your system is just getting more run down. And she was like, that's exactly how I feel. And I was like, yeah, because that's exactly what you have going on. So what are some of the signs that you actually have adrenal fatigue, right? I put fatigue down, like, of course, of course, you're going to feel tired. You're going to wake up feeling tired. You're going to try and start projects and you're going to feel tired. You're not going to really have that get up and go. And this can transfer over into mental fatigue as well. Brain fog, everything else. Not just, oh, I feel tired. I need a nap, but my body is physically tired. I have a hard time doing the same things I used to do. And then no matter how much I sleep or rest or anything else, it doesn't make an impact on how I fatigued I feel. I still feel just as tired. Poor muscle recovery. This is a big one. I actually was working with a gal who was a professional athlete and she was telling me how she was training really hard for six months. And one of the things that she was really struggling with um, was her performance. And I said, listen, if you've been training for six months as a professional athlete with a coach, you should be getting faster. You should be able to lift more weight. You should be able to improve your performance. Has that happened in six months? She's like, actually, no. I'm actually really struggling with my times right now. Mm. <laughs> You're not having any good recovery. And she, and that was one of the things from her Dutch report that we were looking at, her adrenal dysfunction. No muscle building. Not able to build that lean muscle, right? If you're feeling like, gosh, I'm, now more things go into it than just this for muscle building. But if you're feeling like I'm getting protein, I'm really trying to, you know, eat at the right time and really focus on building muscle, why isn't my body doing that? your adrenal dysfunction can play a role in your body not being able to build lean muscle and have that repair happen. You'll have weight gain, weight loss resistance. This is a huge piece of this as well. Your body will be protective and adding more weight on no matter what. And then I put pain and inflammation down. This is another thing that clinically I see a lot. You are just tired. Your body doesn't repair as well. Cells are designed to repair, especially while you're sleeping overnight. And even if you're sleeping a lot of hours, you're not getting quality restorative sleep. So therefore your body doesn't feel refreshed, rejuvenated, things like that. It leads to more wear and tear on your physical body. Even just being fatigued throughout the day and having bad posture can lead to more pain and inflammation in your body. So these are all things that we look at on your Dutch test. Now, again, when I talk about a Dutch test, there is actually an entire page, page five, that is looking at your HPA axis, the hypothalamus pituitary to adrenal levels, and then the adrenal output from there. That tells us how your adrenals are actually functioning. So if you're wondering, is this what I have going on? This sounds like me. I'm, I have these things that I've been struggling with. Getting a Dutch test will help us pinpoint exactly what your system is doing. So you can learn more about that below this video. You get the test, you order it, you get sent right to your house, you take the test, you send it into the lab, not to me. Um, and then we go over your results making sure that you understand exactly what your system has going on. And then we go from there. What, what are the best recommendations? What are the best next steps for you? You know, we can sort of give estimated timelines on how long this would take, depending on how long you've had this go on. So we really try and do a really in-depth, not only explanation, but recommendation for you when we look at your Dutch. So that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any other questions, if you need any other guidance on anything, you can always leave a comment below this video, but if you're not comfortable commenting, don't hesitate to reach out to me privately. I answer questions like this all the time every day from women all over the world. So thank you for tuning in and I will see you later.